At Boom Learning, you can create digital task cards called Boom Cards. With Boom Cards, students are shown one question at a time and they get instant feedback on their answers. Let me show you some examples. When students click on the correct answer, it moves them forward to the next card in the deck. You've got lots of options when you create questions for students. One option is to make a multiple choice question. If students click on the wrong answer, it will mark it as incorrect and let them try again until they get the correct answer. Once they get it correct, it moves them forward. You can also create fill in the blank questions if you want students to type in a word or a number as their answer. And the same rule applies. If they type in the wrong answer, it marks it as incorrect and gives them another opportunity to try again. Once they get it right, they move forward. You can also use text or images as part of your question. Here I want students to click on all of the squares, and there are two. If they only click on one, it will let them know that they haven't found all the correct answers and let them try again. So you can also set it up to have more than one correct answer. Here's an example where they have to click on a word to get the question right. Here the verb is eight, and once they click on that, it moves them forward. One of my favorite features of Boom Learning is you can create drag and drop options. So you can set it up so either images or text are movable and students can drag them into the correct area to answer the question. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your own decks of Boom Cards, make sure to check out my Boom Cards Bootcamp it's an online course where I'll show you how to create and publish your own decks of cards on Boom Learning. The course is split up into five days of activities. I'll give you access to all the material at the beginning so you can finish early or late depending on your schedule. The course includes 18 videos, step-by-step -step instructions with detailed diagrams, and I'll also send you over 100 different background images you can use to create your own decks of Boom Cards. By the end of the course, you'll have all the information you need to start publishing your own decks on Boom Learning. I'll also show you how to publish your decks on Teachers Pay Teachers. I hope you'll check it out.